Today we're going to be learning about Guido Danielle, and he is an artist that paints and creates realistic hands called Handimals. We're going to do a story, a read aloud that I have of the book um, written by Sylvia um, Lopez, and the art is by Guido Danielle himself. And then we're going to dive into a quick a lesson on how to make our own animals using the shapes of our hands and creating them that way. The next thing I want to look at is his official website. So let's click on here and just see exactly some of the artwork that he has created. Let's take a look at Guido Danielle's work. So we know that he likes to use hands as his media um, and what he works on because he feels that our hands play an important role and his art is because he feels that we must give animals a hand if, they're to, if they are going to survive. So he says, hands are the most expressive part of the body after the face. We use them every day to do almost everything. So Guido uses his own to transform hands into images of animals and plants. And he hopes that those images will help spread awareness and his belief that artists can convey a message with their very own art. His message in particular is to protect nature, is to protect life. So he feels that, you know, um, body painting is one of the oldest forms of art, you know, something probably as old as cave paintings or rock paintings, and it's still used in many cultures today around the world. So his designs became popular in fashion events and commercials where he would be asked to paint animals on various hands. So he said that, you know, looking at animals, it's you're really close to nature and he feels that they're beautiful. They have these gorgeous colors. So he would research each animal to see how he could transform it um, onto a hand and bring it to life. And he would sometimes really use his very own hands in order to do the same thing. So his creations, you know, in English, it's called handimals. So he realized that he could spread his message about protecting and respecting nature by doing what he did. Um, so he was born in 1950 and he's still doing it today. He lives in Milan um, and he says, you know, quote unquote, I can always paint the image of a tiger, but it is impossible to create a living tiger once they are all gone. So he's done so many different things using his hands and selecting ways to photograph the different poses and so forth without paint first. And then he positions it, paints it, uh, creates the makeup and so forth. Um, so it says, you know, because regular paints contain chemicals that can harm you and harm skin, he uses makeup. So not just any makeup, but natural powders mixed with water um, are used, you know, by actors in traditional Japanese theater. So he says it takes about three to four hours to paint and photograph one of his handles, and some can require more than one model working together. Um, he said, for example, you know, the royal python he did, um, he needed used shoulders and elbows, and the mandarin duck required six different hands. Um, and he said, but mainly the painting and photography has to be done in one day, because the natural paints just stay on for a few hours. Um, but other than that, he said he, you know, works tirelessly with organizations that help with animals. So, for example, the World Wildlife Fund, Dolphin Aid, He's been named Animal Planet's Hero of the Year, and one of his very own heroes is Jane Goodall. So he was able to paint a chimpanzee handle on her hand to celebrate her 80th birthday. Um, he also said that when an interviewer joked with him that he's all fingers and thumbs, and that he's been dubbed uh, Michael Hangelo. So, but he still thinks that his art is very simple, and his just quote is, I'm happy to do something everybody understands, especially children. So just take a look at these different images. You know, there's a book, Handlebles, that's where I'm getting this information from, a little bit of history about him. But you can see some of his work and get inspired about what you might try to create with your very own hand today. We're going to trace our hands and then we're going to be able to draw and color inside our hands to create what you might want to create. Finally, let's take a look at this awesome article. There's an article that has a lot of great examples. 
Now looking at these images, you can take a look at the really fine detail that he uses using the makeup in order to paint and create the realistic look of the animals using hands. So as you can see here, you've got one hand and arm and you have another in order to create that illusion. And as we've talked a little bit about him too, just look at his quote again, the human hands can build or can destroy our world. So using all of his tools, he brings inspiration and ideas and notice to these animals that are here and might need our help. So just take a moment, take a look at some of these images. What do you notice? The colors, the textures, the details. How does his art make you feel? What connections do you have to his art? Is this something you would enjoy recreating? Look at the form of the hand that he's able to capture and look at those images and create. How would you create this one for a giraffe? or a flamingo. And just some of those pieces of how it all comes together. So he does a lot of advertisements for the World Wildlife Fund, for animals that are endangered. And he's also done other various um, advertisements for companies like AT&T. Take a look at these hand moles examples again. You can see the different features for each of the birds and other animals, reptiles, you name it. So today, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be looking at how to recreate similar to Guido Danielle, but doing it a lot more simple, where instead of painting our hands, we're gonna use our hands and create the same shape and form that he did but what we'll do instead is color in and add the details of what we want. So these are just a few ideas and examples, but think about any of these, what could you turn yours into? You can make a turtle, you can make any, like a dolphin, you know, think of all the different ways that you could create an animal or something using your hands. So let's take a look at my quick example, and then you can get started on your own. On your paper, the first thing you're going to use is either a pencil, you can draw the crayon, or even a marker. And what we're going to do is use our hand to create the shapes of animals. So I'll pull up a quick image here of exactly what you can do to create with your hands. Now I'm a lefty, so I'm using my right hand, and you can move your fingers any which way that you want. So just using your hand, create the shape that you're looking to create. And then using your other hand, think about using the marker. You're going to go right around tracing, probably like you did when you were a lot younger too. So using our hand this way, um, you can create like this one. I'm creating a giraffe. And then I'm going to add in the extra little shapes to create the features, add in the eyes and the nose and other areas as well. On this piece, I'm going to continue adding a couple other animals and creating the form with my hand. So that way I can have it almost like I'm at the zoo and these animals are all smiling and photobombing together. 